Hey guys, welcome to the Touchdown Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan. The season's flying by. It's already week 14. Hard to believe we're in the final month here. Home stretch, we've got some fun games to pick. Let's get started. Yeah, I'm going to get started on Thursday night as usual. The New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. Both of these teams coming off of pretty nice wins. The Rams against a division rival in the Cardinals and the Patriots ripping apart the Los Angeles Chargers. I think this should be a, a close game, especially since these teams both looked really good last week. However, I have it going to the Rams. I think that they are leading this division right now. They have something to really play for, and I think that they're going to be able to play good enough to win this game. Uh, score 28-23, Rams take it. Well, the last time the Patriots and the Rams played, I think we all almost fell asleep because <laughs> it was that um, sorry Super excuse of a Super Bowl. 13-3 um, in Super Bowl 53. I think this one will be much more offensive. I think that the Rams will win this game, but like Jordan mentioned, you know, the Patriots are in it. You know, they they played well last week, too. They dominated the Chargers. Um, you know, Patriots sitting at 6-6-6, six, six and six, trying to get back in that playoff picture. Rams trying to uh, hold that NFC West lead. I think the Rams will get their goal done. They win 31-27 on Thursday. Well, you know, I think the Patriots do have something to fight for at this point. Absolutely. Um, especially with the wins they're pulling off now. Let's not forget the talent they have on that team, although they went on that short little losing um, streak there. But, you know, I think they get it done. They're fighting just as much as the Rams are fighting for a playoff spot in their tough division right now. And I think the Patriots go on the road and win 31-26 to and upset the Rams on Thursday night. Next game... This is the game we've been waiting for all season. In case you guys don't know the background behind this, Ryan's a Texans fan and Jordan and I are Bears fans. Yeah. And unfortunately, we thought this game might mean more yeah. at this point, but it doesn't. But it's the Bears or the Texans playing at the Bears. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about this game because yeah. it's our two teams. Um, but just I'll start off with the pick. Like I said, I don't know if both these teams are even going to get to the playoffs at this point. The Texans are basically eliminated yeah. and the Bears are continue to make themselves seem like they're eventually just going to get eliminated soon enough. Um, but I, I, I do think that both these teams match up well with the offense of the Bears um, being a bit slow and the defense of the Texans being slow and that, that Texans offense being really good and that Bears defense being good as well. So I think it's going to be a fun matchup, but I'm picking the Bears to win. i got to do it because, you know, why not? I've been waiting for this game. 27-25, Bears win, hopefully. I, c I cannot believe that one of these teams is going to win a football game next week. I mean, I was thinking, you know, bef before, um, you know, last week's slating game on Sunday, I'm thinking, wow, I want the Texans and the Bears to both win because then that game will really still feel very meaningful for both teams. It'll be a lot more intense. It'll be great. You know, you know everyone at the table will be feeling good, liking their chances, but... Um, quite the opposite happened. Quite the opposite did happen, and you know, normally when the Texans lose a close game, I am I'm I really think I am an optimistic fan. Normally I talk about it, oh how great we played against a tough team and just how awesome Deshaun Watson is and how great he is. You know, we all were fullers out. You know, Cooks missed some time. He got hurt a little bit. You know, all these practice squad receivers, and I talk about you know how the run defense is actually looking a little bit better, and you know the progress is being made, and all oh, you fought hard against the good. I'm done with that. I'm sick of doing that because. Just when this team finally actually plays decent in the secondary and actually, you know, lets, you know, Deshaun Watson be who he can be, and he did that again, just when we get all that worked out, just when the offensive line improves, just when you say, okay, now we've played to our full potential, we forget how to execute a basic snap. I mean, I, it looked like it was a bad snap on the center. Jordan said he saw it and he thought it was more Watson's fault. I need to watch it again. Once I'm ready to watch it again, which I'm not yet, I will watch it again and we'll see. But, I mean, come on, like... That's just the most Texans thing ever. I mean, honestly, knowing them, if they scored that touchdown there, they probably would have let the Colts march down the field and win anyway. But really just, it, it's ridiculous. It's comical the way that, you know, both of the teams in this game uh, find ways to lose sometimes. I'm going to pick the Texans 26-23, but I don't feel good about it. And honestly, just, you know, like I said, how is one of these teams going to win? Like, they're both playing so bad lately. Yeah, well... Uh, honestly, as a Bears fan, I think that's the best offensive game we've seen from the Bears in a pretty long time. I think they said during the broadcast that they hadn't scored 30 points in a few years, maybe, if I remember correctly. Maybe it was last year, October. It may have been, no, it was last year uh, against the Cowboys, the Bears and Cowboys on Thursday Night yeah, Football, I believe it was. 31 in that game? 31 points. So that was the last time they scored over 30 points. Our offense has been horrendous this year, and they actually looked pretty good. Of course, Trubisky had that fumble that let the... Lions score the go-ahead touchdown, but we played really good on offense, and our defense just did not play to the level 
that we, they usually have been playing to. It's frustrating, just like Ryan's team. But there is hope. Trubisky played good enough, but, you know, not good enough to win, I guess, in the end. Very frustrating. Uh, honestly, after that game, I really wasn't even mad because it was just like, okay, really? We've lost five weeks in a row. I'm used to this at this point. Anyways, I'm used to also doing this at this point, and then that's picking the Bears 26 to 20 out of the Bears. I was going to say rolling on, but they've been flopping. They dropped it, it as well. They'll pick they up their first game in a while, out. maybe. Anyways, next game is two teams that have Hold lost. Hold on, don't, don't move on yet. We're looking yeah. at the play right now. It's, he's in the shotgun. It's yeah. a bit low, but it looks like Watson definitely could have got it. He, maybe maybe he Johnson knocked it out of his it. hand or something. I, it looked yeah. like he was trying to hand it off from what I remember. Let's look at it one more time here. Oh, you guys can't see it, but yeah. oh, it looks like it. Let's was see. it supposed to? I hope we weren't trying to run it then. Anyways, I'll move. let you guys talk yeah, about it. I'll like start it. this. We got Cowboys yeah, at Bengals, two teams yeah. that have lost their starting quarterbacks, Dak Prescott for the Cowboys and Joe Burrow for the Bengals. Uh, we have yet to see the Cowboys play. We're making this video, so we can't tell you what happened with them, but the Bengals ended up losing this week, and I have the Cowboys winning this game by a score of 23-17. to 17. It might be a lousy game, but it might be a close game as well. So, Yeah, I agree with pretty much everything you said. Uh, this is also, you know, Andy Dalton, you know, coming back to uh, where he's oh, yeah. got a lot of his career, so that should be interesting for sure. Uh, you know, Dallas, I mean, they're a strange team. They've generally had a bad season, but once in a while, you know, they just have a real nice game that they put together. We saw it in the Vikings, and, uh, oh, I love that too, but probably not. Um, and I do think they win this game. I have almost the exact same score. I have Dallas winning 22-17. Two teams that have lost their starting quarterback and slowly uh, watched their hopes for this season wither away. But I think it's going to be an interesting, as you said, Andy Dalton coming back to Cincinnati is going to be fun. But I think Dallas gets it done in the end. And um, Andy Dalton proves that he still got it, uh, beating his old team 29-24. to Next game is the Chiefs at the Dolphins. And then, although this one might not have seemed like the greatest game at the beginning of the year, now this is an important AFC matchup because the Dolphins, who have had a good defense, if they can get this win and stop the Chiefs like not many teams have been able to do, they've still got a shot to win their division. they still got a shot to get a top AFC spot right now, especially if they can beat one of their top AFC teams right now. Um, we're not done watching the Sunday night game yet as we're filming this. But I don't I haven't seen anything that says the Chiefs lose, so I picked the Chiefs to win thirty to twenty seven. Yeah, once Texans Bears becomes unwatchable, I think I'm gonna flip to this game because there's gonna be a lot of fun talent in this game. Two great coaches, and it really is, um, in my eyes, uh, the team that you know ready win now Super Bowl contenders um, against that with that team being the Chiefs, obviously against that team that's tons of young talent just starting to you know get into some of their prime, starting to develop these young guys, but still might be a year or two away from true Super Bowl contention. That's what this matchup is. So I think, you know, this will be a fun, you know, kind of test for the Dolphins to see how far are they, how much more do they have to develop their young players, how close are they to truly becoming a Super Bowl contender because they're going to be a playoff team probably. So definitely an interesting game to see the talent gap between these two teams. I think it will be crazy high scoring with the offensive talent in this game. I got the Chiefs winning a shootout 41-33. Well, I don't think it's going to be as high scoring as you do. I think the Chiefs will get a decent amount of points. And at the end of the day, I think the Dolphins will too. But I need to see more from this Dolphins offense. Now, I know Tua had uh, basically his best game as a starter so far this year, so congratulations to him. He had a pretty good stat line. But I'd like to see a bit more from this offense. There was some fighting going on in that last game. I actually need to go back and watch that because uh, there was a lot of interesting stuff in that Dolphins game uh, last week. Um, but it's the Chiefs. They're rolling right now, and I have them winning this game 32-24, to even though I do like the Dolphins. Uh, next game is a team that... A lot of people were predicted at one point in the season to go to the Super Bowl. Kyler Murray, MVP. People were saying all that stuff against a team that started off 0-5 and, and is now rolling and leading the division in the NFC East. Yes, it is the Cardinals against the Giants. And I have really liked the way the Giants have played. They lost Daniel Jones. It did not matter. They beat a great uh, or great Seahawks offense. And <laughs> hey, the, the defense is actually improving. They, they are. And that's, they didn't that's, give up that's that many noteworthy. points. That is yeah. noteworthy. Uh, but still... I, this Giants defense is uh, probably one of the most underrated defenses in the league. When you hold Russell Wilson to the stat line that he had, that is something that is insane. They have been playing sneaky well, and I think the Giants are making a case for them to, to get into the playoffs. And I'll say it, they might win a game in the playoffs if they continue to play as they are right now. Even against if their double. defense continues to play and their yeah, offense can do know. something. It's just like the Bears. Your offense needs to do something. If you can put up 25, 30 points in the game, then your team might be able to win a game. I'm not saying they're going to win a playoff game, but I said there's a possibility. Anyways, they're not going to win this game. Uh, Cardinals will win 25-20. to 20. 
Yeah, you made a good point about how, you know, the Giants, you know, if they're in the playoffs, like, I mean. Anything could happen, they're in. especially you know, you this just year. Got, especially this year, you don't know with all the COVID situation, you know, maybe, who knows, your opponent can end up being in a situation like the Broncos were in uh, last week and you're going against a wide receiver at quarterback. You just never know uh, in this current NFL environment we're in. So, I mean, yeah, just get into the playoffs and then who knows, it's like a brand new year. With that being said, the Cardinals might be one of the most confusing teams in the NFL. They've beaten some great teams. They've lost to some bad teams. So, I don't know. I'll just give them a win here, I guess, coming off a uh, disappointing loss to the Rams, which, uh, you know, they're not hanging on to that playoff spot by two. Are they, are they? I don't know who's in it right now. They, them and the Vikings are both 6-6. Six and six. So, at one point, it looked very, very good for them. But now they're, you know, losing their grip. So, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, I think the Vikings are in. Yeah. So, we'll see. They are in a tight playoff race, tight, um, you know, NFC wild card race that will almost certainly come down to Week 17. But I think the Cardinals win 29-22 and get back on track. Yeah, I, I want to buy the Giants, like, so much. I want to think this team could actually go on a run in the playoffs like they did against the, or I don't know what year it was, but the when they won the Super Bowl against the Patriots, the undefeated Patriots. I just... Yeah. Don't see it right now. Um, well, it's an NFC East team. I, I don't think anyone would say an NFC East team this year is going to the Super Bowl. Well, I know, but when, with the run they've had recently, I just, yeah. you know, th- this is where I'm at. And I consider myself pretty knowledgeable at football, but I don't know if I can name three players on their defense. I'm not even going to try. I yeah. think I could if I took some time. Back? I think, I think his arrest I, I think I could. Let me try. Let's just try this. Let's name three Giants players on defense. I got Blake Martinez. And you, just, you should definitely get one. Well, Julian Love, yeah. and then James Bradbury. Boom. Okay. that was Those were the three I was thinking of. I don't yeah. know if I can make any more. But um, anyways, I'm going to just pick like this Leonard, game. Right? I'm not, I don't trust them yeah, enough yet, so I'm picking the Cardinals Leonard to win 30-27, to 27, uh, just as I had the yeah. last game. Oh, yes. Giants experts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was another one? Leonard Williams. Oh, okay. Next game is the Vikings at the Buccaneers. Uh, once again, the Vikings are a team that's been kind of confusing as of mm-hmm. recently. You know, lost to the Cowboys. Barely beat the Jaguars, and they've had some impressive wins. So I'm going to pick the Bucks, who are coming off a rough patch and a bye. Uh, they're well-rested to get this win, 34-31. Yeah, my problem with the Vikings is that they seem to play down to their competition when they're playing such bad teams. Back-to-back weeks, slow starts, you know, couldn't get anything going against, you know, not the greatest teams in the Jaguars and the Panthers. But I know eventually they won the game, and that's what matters. But still, you know, not, you know, something that really, you know, makes you feel good. Like, wow, I really think this team's going to get on a, on a run. I picked them to win the division, so I still do think they have a shot at the playoffs for sure, especially with how tight that NFC uh, wild card race is. But, you know, Tampa, I mean, in that Kansas City game, you know, when they came back and, you know, made it a game again, you felt like, okay, they're close to really getting it going on offense. I think Tampa bounces back um, fresh off the bye week, well-rested, had a lot of time to reflect on their uh, tough loss to Kansas City. Bucks win 28-24. Yeah, with Tampa, we talk about it in our podcast. I'm sure we talk about it here on the channel. By the way, check out the podcast if you have not. It's basically available anywhere that you can find podcasts. But we talk about the thing with this Buccaneers team is they need to find their identity on offense. Are they going to run Tom Brady's offense or is it going to be Bruce Arians' offense? They just had the bye week to try to figure it out. I think that coming off the bye week, they'll play pretty well against this Vikings team that, as Ryan said, has played down to the competition. I had the Bucks winning this game 32-24. And the next one is the Denver Broncos at the Carolina Panthers. Uh, this one should be pretty interesting. Uh, we're, we're doing this Sunday night, so the, Bro- the, the Broncos game is still going right now. I'm actually going to switch to it on my phone as soon as I'm done talking here. I have to read off my score prediction. I'm missing some fantasy football stuff right now. Uh, but I like how the Panthers have been playing recently. I like how Teddy's been playing. I think McCaffrey will be back for this one. Not quite sure, though. I have the Cardinals winning. Oh, I did it again. The Panthers <laughs> winning 26 It had been such a good run that you yeah. didn't call the Panthers the Cardinals. Yeah. It's just I that, see, that CAR it, throws them yeah, off. It's a let's let's CAR, move on. we got to get yeah. through quickly so we can watch this game. Car. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, Denver, I mean, they're still winning, right? So maybe they're coming off yeah, a big Yeah, the Chiefs are knocking on the door, though. Oh, okay. Right so time. only winning uh, for probably a few more moments. But we'll see. I mean, hey, you know, Denver, I mean, I was high on them at the beginning of the year. They got a lot of young oh, talent. Cool. I think once they're healthier next year, they'll be a lot better. But I'm going to go with Carolina at home. I think that they're a team that's going to spoil some teams' playoff hopes down the stretch. I think Carolina wins this game 35-24 at home. Yeah, you know, everything you just said I had agreed with. Um, I just think... Much. I mean, I just, <laughs> I mean, I just think that the Broncos are said. such a it's weird wrong. team in terms of what they want to do and when they want to do it. I just, I don't get them right now. 
that you have sparks of greatness and then sparks of horrendousness. I'm not going to pick them to win this game because of the inconsistency, so Panthers win 23-18 at home. Next game is the Titans at the Jaguars, an AFC South matchup. Um, the Titans, who really, it's probably a game they thought they were going to win against the Browns and could have proven themselves. They ended up um, losing in a big way, although the score looked close in the end. It really wasn't. But it's Jaguars. I'm going to pick the Titans to bounce back and win 32-30. I'm going to be honest here. I do think that if the Texans beat the Colts, I would have gotten excited and picked the Jaguars to win this game because they have played some tough teams very close, and they've been in a lot of games. But I'm also going to agree with Tyler and say the Titans bounce back. They win one touchdown game, 27-20. Uh, yeah, I'll, we'll get to the Browns later. They play on Monday night, but I'm just going to say it right now. I was skeptical of the Browns. I wanted to see this game against the Titans. I think that was going to be a tester for them. But I'm happy with the way that I'm not happy, I guess. But I'm content on what I saw from the Browns. I'll we'll get to that. that more on Monday night. Uh, but the Titans, I think that was just a lousy game. I think it was a slump game. They really could not get it going. Their defense started off really bad. Some big plays from Baker in that offense. And I just don't think that was a Titans team we're going to see down the stretch. I think Derrick Henry will do a lot better in the future, as well as this whole Titans squad. I have them winning this game 32-17. to Staying in the AFC South, kind of, at least with one of the teams, is the Indianapolis Colts playing a team that barely squeaked out a win yeah. against the Jets. In yeah, and the he Raiders. means barely, like yeah. Hail Mary barely. Yeah. yeah, like blitz on a Hail Mary barely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, very questionable thing to do from that Jets defense. But anyways... The Raiders have not been playing their best football recently against the Falcons. They played really bad, and you figured, all right, this is the Jets. We said in our video last week, this is the Jets. It's a bounce-back game for you, and you almost lost this one. Since they played the Chiefs on Sunday night, and they were in that game with the Chiefs, they have really slumped those past two games. And if this continues, it's not going to be good for the Raiders because their playoff hopes are still well alive. Uh, it's a tough AFC conference, but they could still try to sneak their way in. However, I think that the Colts will continue to try to sneak their way in and possibly win this division. I have them winning this game 27-23. Yeah, this was one of the uh, tougher decisions I made when I was picking uh, the games this week. <laughs> and what it came down to, I think I just trust Vegas' offense a little more. I think the Colts, you know, they have some talent, but sometimes Even they after just... They just beat you? No, they, they, yeah, they did. But, I mean, what that came down to, that came down to, you know, the defense because not a single offensive point was scored in that game by either team in the second half. So, I mean, the defense overall is good. They got some key players back last week. But I just trust Vegas' offense a little more. I think they have some sneaky good receivers. I love Josh Jacobs, Darren Waller, and Derek Carr, you know. Like you said, the Raiders haven't been playing, you know, as well as they know they could be these past few weeks. But he stepped up when it mattered most. And, you know, this is going to be a big game in that AFC playoff race because what one of these teams the titans and the colts are probably going to be a wild card and vegas is trying to you know lock up their position as a wild card also so this is big for playoff implications for both teams i'm going to go with vegas 34 31 but should be a fun game all right um i think this is going to be a fun one this is one i had to go back to at the end of because i thought it was going to be a close game didn't know who was going to win i picked the colts because i don't know it was just kind of a flip of the coin thing i could see either thing happening but with the raiders play recently against the Falcons, and then almost losing to the Jets. Just can't pick them. So uh, Colts win 33-28 on the road. All right, next game is the Jets at the Seahawks. The Seahawks entering their second game of the New York section of their schedule. Um, just uh, lost to the Giants, so they're 0-1 against New York teams. I don't think they're going to be 0-2. I sure hope not, at least for their sake. Seahawks win 30-25 against the almost not winless Jets. Yeah, they, they almost had it, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe you got to be quicker than that. Jets fans, are you happy? Are you sad? Are you conflicted? I mean, if I, I personally think I'd want my team to win. I don't know if I'd have the, you know, audacity so to legitimately root against my team. Just even if you think, no, I'm the one pick, just your audacity. <laughs> something, you know, psychologically, I feel like would forbid me from wanting my team to lose. But anyway, whether you like it or not, Jets fans, you're just going to stay winless one more week. Seahawks win 31-20. Yeah, I'm angry with the Seahawks team right now because I have Russell Wilson in fantasy, and he's really letting me down. And if you want to hear more about that, I'm sure I'm going to talk about it in the podcast, and that might get heated. So this week, Wednesday, actually the day this video comes out, check out the podcast if you want to hear me be furious. Uh, but anyways, uh, with this team, I think, come on, Seahawks, you can't lose to the Jets. I know it was a bad it. last week against the Giants. That offense needs to play better, and I think they'll do enough to win. I think it's going to be a close game because, of course, it's the Seahawks, 27-21. Uh, I got the Hawks winning this one. 
Now we travel birds. to the AF, or excuse me, NFC North, <laughs> and it is the Green Bay Packers playing the Detroit Lions. Both of these teams coming off of wins: the Lions against the Bears and the Packers against the Eagles. Uh, the Packers are the better team in this game. I think it's just pretty obvious. Aaron Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna say it. Tyler, you're gonna be happy with me. I, he is my MVP candidate right now. I was thinking the same um, thing. So. I think that they're going to win this game. Tyler's happy over there that I just said it. First time I've said it out loud, 31-26. to 26, I got Aaron Rodgers' team rolling over the Lions. Uh, Daryl, Bevel, Bevel, you already got your first win, yeah. and now you can be done. Yeah, um, you know, you said what I was thinking. I think that after, you know, the way Aaron Rodgers continues to play so well and after, you know, the Seahawks' little um, meltdown against the Giants, I do think that Aaron Rodgers is the front runner for the MVP right now. Obviously, long way until the season ends. We've got more yeah, games, yeah, more but questions. we'll see what happens. But I guess the universal belief at the touchdown table right now is that Aaron Rodgers is in the lead for the MVP. I don't think that changes this week. Packers win pretty decisively 34-19. Well, Lions, you got lucky. We let you back into that game last week. I have a hatred for you right we now, got as lucky I do. The first week too. So. Yeah, I know. It kind of was like yeah, a. It's you know, kind of like a canceled, canceled out because yeah. um yeah whatever. But well, you know, same, same I'm mad. You know, the these games won. offset. Yeah. <laughs> the Bears just we need to win a game, and you stopped us from yeah, doing that. Sh- You're really not that good. I'm sorry that was mean, but I'm just not. I don't like you right now. Yeah. Packers, we're gonna win this game regardless of the Bears won or lost this week. 34-21. Packers win on the road. Next game is the Saints at the Eagles. Now, this is a playoff re- rematch of, um, was it last year? What was it? No. Two years, ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago, after the Eagles beat the Bears, they went to New Orleans to play the Saints and lost. Um, what happened after that? Uh, then the Saints, um, I'm not even going to go there. That's just rude. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm picking the Saints to win this one. They're on a roll right now. Um, you know, I just don't see how they lose to this Eagles team. Not sure who's going to be quarterbacking. For the Eagles, which will be interesting. interesting. Uh, but regardless of who sense. is behind I mean, it's, it's the center, something here every day. Um, I'm going to pick the Saints to win 35-27. to 27. Yeah, um, it, it's kind of interesting because, you know, Car- Carson Wentz is, you know, the Eagles quarterback, and then, you know, they decide to make a change to that Packers game, and you just go, what the? As you see Jalen Hurts trot out there, he did some nice things. You know, he brought a little bit of a spark to the Eagles. You know, they came back a little bit. It was 23-16 oh. at one point. Uh, you're watching the uh, Sunday night game. So uh, something uh, just happened in that game. Uh, but the key to this game, I think Taysom Hill is developing as a passer. Like, he's not just that, well, you know. Drew might be back for this. Oh, one. Drew might be back. Oh, well, Because it's makes been it... three weeks. Oh, that's true. So, we'll I'm see. Not sure I, honestly, they're back. playing the Eagles. Yeah. I think they could. They could just now, they're, trying, act... they're trying to lock up the number one seed. Let's not get too yeah, They could. I know. Here. I'm saying they could activate Taysom Drew well. and then just play Taysom and okay. like it's going terrible, which I don't think it would. Then put yeah, Drew but in. if it's Taysom, I do think Taysom is, develop- is developing as a passer. He's not just that, you know, like tight end under center. Like I think he's, you know, expanding his game a little more, which is good for that team uh during this stretch without Breeze. Saints win twenty three sixteen. Give me one second here to flip back over. Okay. Uh sorry about that. Uh yeah, you guys have been talking up the Saints and of course I'm gonna say it again. Mine and Ryan Super Bowl yep. prediction winners, the Saints My Super they Bowl are pick made the playoffs. Great. Uh yes. Mm-hmm. Saints so that far the only team that, that happened last year. Playoffs. Well it, uh, it depends. Well, t- yeah true there's still time to go. Uh but anyways uh, I have the Saints winning this game against a struggling Eagles team, thirty to twenty. Uh, speaking of struggling teams, you got the Chargers in this next one. Also, the Falcons in this next one, who somehow hung in there with the Saints, even though it really did not seem that close. But the Chargers, forty-five to zero last yeah. week. Herbert had by far his worst start <laughs> as a quarterback in the NFL. Two picks, the thing was like two hundred something yards. Uh, just not good for this offense and this defense. Kenneth Murray got a sack. Uh, Yay. Uh, that was exciting for me to see, but that was really the only thing to take out of the game, and that's really nothing to take out in the first place. Um, you know, I want the Chargers to win this game, but Justin Herbert, you put up a lousy, I think, .18 points for fantasy for me. So because of that, if I don't win this week, which is very possible, and I don't make the playoffs, then you must get chastised. You pay. And uh, yeah. that it, that chastise is coming in the fact that you're going to lose by one point to the Falcons, 27-26. to 26. Yeah, um, these teams are both going to try so hard to blow leads and find ways to lose because that's what they specialize in. You know, that's exactly what I was One of these say. teams is going to have to hold a fourth quarter lead, so it should be interesting. I'm going to go with the Chargers at home. They're eliminated from playoff contention, but I mean, come on. I, I, I still think that they're they're better than this. Come on, win a couple of games down the stretch. You know, you're, you're better than this. 
Yeah, um, you, you said what I was going to say, talking about how these teams like to blow leads, and how characteristic of Bill Belichick, by the way, to figure out the rookie quarterback yeah. and, you know, stop him, shut out the Chargers. I don't think they get shut out in this game, but they still lose to the Falcons 29-23. to Our next game is the Washington football team at the San Francisco 49ers. I said this in last week's video. I think the 49ers have a chance to go on a run here. In the NFC, they still have a good shot at the playoffs, especially if they beat the Bills on Monday. Monday. Um, I don't know if they did or not. You guys do as you're watching this, but as I'm talking, I don't know. But I'm going to pick the 49ers to win regardless, 32-29. to 29. I think it'll be a fun game. Yeah, San Francisco is getting healthier, and regardless of what happened in the Buffalo game, even if they lose, they're 5-7. and seven. The 7 seed is currently 6-6. Six and six. So even, like, even if they lose, they are still, you know alive in that playoff hunt for sure. Still, they're still going to need to go on a run. You know, we'll see, you know, when, if, does Kittle uh, come back. You know, it probably depends on, you know, if they're in contention or not. But I, San Francisco is getting healthier. They've still got playmakers on defense. The receivers are getting healthy. And I do also think that San Francisco wins a low-scoring game. Both these teams have some defensive talent. San Francisco wins 19-17. I've had my problems with San Francisco in the past, but as Ryan said, they are getting healthier I'm starting to like this team a bit more because the talent is slowly coming back. I'm still not a big fan of Garoppolo. And is he in, is he still injured? I don't even know. I haven't watched any 49ers games, to be completely honest. Yeah, I don't but think he's... He didn't play a lot. Like, in the, we'll find out if he's playing them on there or not. We'll I be need, watching that one. Yeah. I'll look it up. Anyways, this team has been playing better. However, Washington sure is also week, playing he very did. good, too. We still haven't seen them yet, but I really like the way they're playing, and it's important for them to get every win at this point to try to take the division. I have Washington getting this win 23-21. to Sunday night is the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Buffalo Bills. This is going to be a doozy. And I think this might be the last shot, except for against the Browns, I think, at the end of the year, yeah. for the Steelers. Or did they play the Ravens again? No, they don't. No, play. Um, for the Steelers to uh, lose a game. And you know what? I have it happening. I have the Bills winning this game 34-32. to uh, I, I like the Steelers. I think they're going to lose one, right? I don't feel like yeah. they're... Like, they're a darn good team, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel like they're on paper a 16-0 and team. Very good, but I think there's got to be one that comes, and I'm saying it's this one. Yeah, um, I've had this game, you know, I've pointed to this one for a while and said I think this is the one where, you know, Buffalo's going to get them and Pittsburgh perfect season uh, comes to an end. But I still think this Pittsburgh team is a great team, but I just don't think they're good enough to go undefeated. I don't, I mean, they're good, but they're not, you know, as good as their they're record shows. They're, they're not 16 and 0 good. They could be 12 and 4 good, absolutely. But we'll see. I do think they're 13 Buffalo, and I, 3 yeah. good. 14 yeah, 2. Yeah, maybe. yeah, even that. You know, I can see. But I think this is where Buffalo gets them. I've been saying that uh, for a while. I've had the Bills winning this game. I saw that game on the schedule, and I'm like, that's it. Bills win. Pittsburgh loses for the first time this year. 30 to 23 to score. Are we sweeping the Bills winning? I don't think so. We were this close to having the uh, Bills win yeah. on the sweep at this table. Which I thought about this one for a while, but I picked the Steelers mainly because when I picked against them last time, they destroyed the team, and I um, had them winning against them, pretty sure. I don't know what time that was. But I'm going to pick the Steelers to win this one. This will be a great one. Jordan, you called the doozy. That's exactly what it'll be. 36-32. I have the Steelers winning this one. Next game is the Monday night game, the Ravens. At the Browns. Now, this is a very important game for both of these teams because this is an AFC North matchup. And the Ravens need to win this game if they want to continue um, to have a chance to at least get second in the division and get into the playoffs at this point. They're striving for a playoff spot. With that being said, the Browns played really good against the Titans last week. I just don't know if they're going to be able to do it again. I think the Ravens find a way to upset the Browns. It's not going to be as ugly as last time, but Ravens win 28-27. Yeah, you mentioned last time these two teams played, which is a fair point, and that was week one. I really do believe that the Browns are much better than they were at that point, and I think the Ravens are a little worse than they were at that point. So I see a different outcome completely. I think Cleveland wins 26-21, which should be interesting to see these division foes go at it. This is what I was waiting to talk about with the Browns. If you've been watching these picks videos consistently, you know that I say the word consistently <laughs> at least once every video, and here it comes. I want to see consistency from all teams around the NFL. The Browns have been one that I wanted to see consistency with. I want to see doing stuff on both uh, parts of consistent offense. Today. I want to see running. I want to see passing. In the past, in the past few games of the Browns, we saw that running tack go off. They had probably one of the best in the league. But I wanted to see Baker in this passing offense really take off. And they did that in this game. 
which makes me like them even more. And their front five, front four, whatever, how many they play on defense is really good as well. Uh, I'm starting to like this Browns team a bit more. However, I just talked them up. I thought about letting them win, but I just decided, uh, I don't know why I'm picking the Ravens, but I, I, I put the red thing on the Ravens. So I had the Ravens <laughs> winning this game 28-21. to 21. All right, thank you, Jordan, for that. Thank you all, and thank myself for those picks today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and you will be thanked even more. Let us know you subscribed, and I'll, Oof, I'll reply to you thanks so much in the comments, or thanks, or whatever I decide to do. Uh, comment your opinions about these games, about anything we said. Uh, make sure to go check out our podcast. Like I said, comment, like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and with that, we will see you guys later. See ya. See ya.